Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Rome DOD. I rode this binding at Copper Mountain on a day that had a mix of gray skies. It was low temps, average winds. You had chop chunder, leftover pow, a little bit of ice, perfect corduroy, and I rode it on my Ride Shadow Band snowboard with my K2 Thraxxus boots. When it comes to the adjustability on this binding, you have two set screws at the toe on the base and two on the heel. Loosen them up, pull the heel cup out, push the heel cup in. You can help center your boot on the binding that way. The foot pad moves forward and backwards just a little bit. The toe strap is on a push pin system, so you push it down, pull it back up. That's going to lock it in. Both straps have a flip tab. Flip it up, push them in, pull them back out. You can lengthen or shorten them. With the high back, you have the ability to rotate it to make it parallel with your heel edge if that's your thing. I don't know why that's your thing, but some people it's their thing. As well as a forward lean adjustment that all you have to do is flip up, slide it up, slide it down, lock it in, and you are good to go. When it comes to the straps, you get aux tech in the toe and the heel. The heel strap gets the new Ultra Flex Pro heel strap, which gives you a rigid spine through the middle with a little more give on the top and the bottom. Now, what this is gonna do is add a little bit of durability with the shaping of it, but you have no excess padding, so it's gonna contour right around that instep of your boot. If you're looking for more padding, there are other straps out there for you. With the toe strap, it's got a huge cutout that grips over just about any boot shape in there, and it will have some give with that aux tech. Over time though, these do tend to blow out a little bit, so just be aware of that. There's no lie, I love Rome ratchets. They climb exceptionally well. That pull tab has a longer length to it, which gives you more torque. It really is easier to get this thing to climb. The one finger quick release works exactly how you think it would. They stay locked in, they do their job. What more could you ask for from a ratchet? With the high back, these are a little more rigid, not as rigid as say a cleaver, but for a full wrap binding, they're a little more rigid. You get a little bit of tweak just from these cutouts in there. When you drive straight back, you can feel that power in it. The forward lean adjustment is easy to use. Flip it up, slide it up, slide it down, lock it in. You can do this on the fly. With this binding having the full wrap chassis, it is a little bit stiffer. It's not as stiff as say the cleaver, but it is stiffer. You get more power on the outside, which will help you with lateral drive. Through the straps, while they do have more give in them, you do have that spine, which does allow it to have some power. It's not the stiffest binding out there, but it is past middle of the road. The overall ride of this binding is a little bit lively. It's not super damp, but it's damp enough for micro vibrations to be dissipated so you're not getting that foot fatigue. But when you get into more rutted out terrain or more variable terrain, you start to feel those undulations in this binding and that means that you're gonna feel it in your knees and ankles. Who's this binding for? The rider that wants to charge when the opportunity presents it. They can be laid back, but when they need to, they'll push the button and go into overdrive. So overall, these aren't as damp and responsive as the cleaver, so you feel a little bit more, but they're close, which is nice. They're the little brother to it. I like that heel strap, it works. The ratchets are solid. The dampening underfoot for micro vibrations works. The high back's rigid enough to drive into it. These have the right level of customization where it's not too much, but it's not too little. Like I said, this is just a good solid full wrap binding. Comparable bindings, the Ride A8, the Union Atlas, the Now Select Pro. This has been my review of the Rome DOD. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own a pair? Are you gonna buy a pair? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this binding. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you wanna support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Thank mm -hmm. you.